Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 613th weekly performance of the Jackson Hole Hootenanny, Jackson's Acoustic Music Evening. I think you'll enjoy the music tonight. We have a featured performer, Eric Stone, uh, who has been with the Hootenanny for a good many years. He's been traveling to various locales, and he's now um, actually working out of Healy, Idaho, so it's a treat to have him here tonight. He'll visit us when he can, but a marvelous performer, um, both excellent guitar player, excellent singer. But before we get to Eric, we've got uh, a very good list of musicians. And before we start with that, I just need to share with all of you a couple of traditions we follow with the Hootenanny. And they are uh, that we provide a smoke-free environment for musicians and audience, um, and that we provide a mini concert setting. And we ask the audience to share in that setting and to please not speak when folks are on stage performing. And finally, um, the third tradition that we follow is that when he is here, and this is his 560th performance on the Hootenanny stage, Hootenanny co-founder Bill Briggs begins the evening's activities. Would you please join me in making him welcome? <laughs> I saw you coming. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think of songs to do for 9-11. Wake up call songs. Uh, best thing I could come up with is something Pete Seeger put together back in, oh, 40, almost 50 years ago. Um, anyway, I have often thought that uh, folk songs are sort of wake-up calls from the past. The only reason they hang around, maybe. But this is uh, one that he wrote which seems to fit for today. Thank you. 
magic bun. this evening are, are a wonderful musical group, uh, but they're missing one appendage tonight, I think. So would you please join me in making very welcome buffalo grass with one horn? <laughs> mostly. The first one's called Sally Good. Thank you. 
together in unison probably of three old D fiddle tunes uh, Whiskey Before Breakfast, Lost Indian, Arkansas, Arkansas Trap. Hopefully <laughs> Buffalo grass. I, I'm not sure whether that's short grass or tall grass. What, what kind of grass is buffalo grass? But they're awfully good music. Uh, here's some more good music. Uh, played by a duo, only we have half the duo here. Here's Ann Sibley. <laughs> Everybody, I don't know. It might just be half as good. We'll see. I would think so. Pete, sorry you can't be here tonight. And uh, my excuse, if you're allowed to have one excuse before you start playing, is that uh, I, my allergies are just going crazy. But I didn't want to stay at home. I needed some uh, music therapy. So I'm going to, um, here's a little add-up. Is this a little soft? Should I get real close? Or is it OK? OK. It sounds a little quiet to me. Um, this is a little adaptation of an Emmy Lou Harris tune. See if I can breathe enough to sing it for you. My baby needs a shepherd. She's lost out on the hill. Too late I tried to call her when the night was cold and still. And I tell myself I'll find her, but I know I never will. My baby needs a shepherd, she's lost out on the hill. My baby needs an angel, she never learned to fly. She'll not reach sanctuary just by looking to the sky. I guess I could have carried her, but I didn't even try. My baby needs an angel, she never learned to fly. My baby needs a pilot, she has no magic wand. To help her part the troubled waters of the Rubicon. And in my soul I know she has to go this one alone. After all, that is the only way she's ever known. My baby needs a mother to love her till the end. Up every rugged mountain and down every road that bends. Sometimes I hear her crying, but I guess it's just the wind. My baby needs a mother to love her till the end. 
Thank you. I should have moved that um, the music stand up a little higher so I could see. I'm going to get Hank to help me on this one. Thanks, Hank. I'm glad Hank is here tonight because I was playing this song at home and decided that it it needed dobro on it. I shouldn't play with that, huh? This is a this is a new song of mine. I'm sorry, I do not have any uplifting songs for you tonight <laughs> or any fast ones. Um, but this is a this is a song I wrote after someone that I love very much had a a pretty rough breakup, and um, that's why I, I can't really watch too many sad movies because sometimes I kind of take those feelings in myself. So this one's called The Lonely Tonight. She's just about as good without Pete as she is with, you know? That's yeah, wonderful stuff. All right. Hey, next up, we've got a fellow that was supposed to leave, but he's back. No, he didn't leave. He's still here. Mr. John Cook.
I'm going to have some help on this first song. I thought it was strangely, well, strangely strange, kind of eerie how much today was exactly like September 11th, five years ago here in, in New York and in Washington and in Pennsylvania and pretty much everywhere else as far as I could see. So I found this hat in the closet today, which gives you a clue about my theme. I bought it uh, uh, first week of October uh, 2001, uh, about four blocks from Ground Zero. I only wear it one day a year. So uh, all I could think of was gospel songs. Um, it's uh, remarkable how many songs uh, Dick Barker's songs about war. They focus on one person. It's really hard to think about 3,000 victims, but you can think about one that represents all of them. Both of these songs do that. This is a song that we used to do in the Charles River Valley Boys that we learned from the country gentleman. It's called Victim to the Tomb. And we're going to turn around to the five. One, two, three. Victim to the tune Another 
victim to the tomb. Jack Salee on the banjo, Patty Marshall on the stand-up bass, Jerome Young on the mandolin, and Hank Phibbs on the resonating dobro guitar. And I should mention that none of them had ever heard this song until we ran over it twice upstairs. And, uh, and I got Jack to learn those three lines, and everybody did a great job, so that was nice. Uh, it's kind of amazing how many songs we picked up from Doc Watson over the years. I just, last week, was uh, surprised for the first time. I'm sure in the notes to Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, in the notes for the CD, uh, it says this someplace, but I read through them when, the, when I got the CD after the film came out and never noticed it. But the song they do in the movie that is done by uh, Emmy Lou Harris and Alison Krauss and uh, who am I free? who's the third angel in that trio? Uh, down. Gillian Welsh, right, down in the river to pray. Uh, Alison Krauss learned from Doc Watson. And in one of these PBS fundraising weeks, they tend to show you great programs, and then every now and then they interrupt them and say, send us some money. And they were airing a program called The Three Pickers. And it was Ricky Skaggs and Doc Watson and Earl Scruggs with special guest Alison Krauss. And Doc Watson sang this song, uh, which he learned from his grandmother. So. Um, that's where Alice and Krauss got it, uh, down in the river to pray. And a song I learned from Doc Watson long, much, much longer ago. Um, the first time he uh, played solo, rather than with the Clarence Ashley family of old time musicians, which is who he first came up to the Northeast to play for the folk music crowd with, uh, he came to the Club 47 and dazzled us with his guitar playing. But he also did this song. Um, which is called The Lone Pilgrim. I came to the place where the lone pilgrim lay and pensively stood by his tomb when in a low whisper I heard something say how sweetly I sleep here alone the lightning may flash and the loud thunder roar and gathering storms may soul. The tears are all wiped from my eyes. The calls of my master compelled me from home. No kindred or relative nigh. I contagion and sank to the tomb. My soul flew to mansions on high. Go tell my companion and children most dear to weep not for me, now I'm gone. The same hand that led me through scenes most severe has kindly assisted me o'er. Thank you. John Cook, and company, good music. 
Oh. All right. Some more good music here from our ballad singer. Here is Dick Barker. Thank you. Um, well, I don't know if this is the same type of gospel song, but um, I learned this from a Irish group, regional Irish group from down in Colorado mostly. But. The church, it was crowded with pew after pew of the faithful in line to be shriven down on their knees doing laps with their beads that their sins be absolved and forgiven and in the confessional father o'rourke heard humanity stripped to the core he had a word with the boss made the sign of a cross and admonish them, go sin no more. Well, after an hour of sin upon sin and gallops of perfect contrition, the door, it clicked open and an old man walked in and assumed the confession position. This white-haired old fella sold us the hills Ninety, if he was a day, his face weathered and creased. He looked up at the priest and said, Father of something to say. I'm a very old man, I'll be ninety-one years. Come the next fourteenth day of November. And all of me life, I've been true to me wife as near as I seem to remember. <laughs> In a great fit of madness, three nights ago, God knows what I thought I was doing. I slept with two teenage cheerleaders at once, and I brought them both to their ruin. Well, Father O'Rourke, didn't know what to say, but this old man had made an impression. His voice level and calm, he said to the mom, tell me when were you last at confession? It's me very first time, the old man replied, I've not been to confession before, for I've been a Protestant all of me life. At least till I walked through that door. Well, Father O'Rourke was a great deal confused. He says, look, there's something amiss. If you've been a Protestant all of your life, why are you telling me this? The old man just beamed a broad wicked grin. In the darkness his little eyes glisten. Oh, Father, said he with his voice full of glee, I'm telling whoever will listen. Thank you. Now for a <clears throat> little change of pace. <laughs> now the south coast, the wild coast is lonely. You might win in a game at alone. But the lions still rule the barrancas, and a man there is always alone. My name is Juan Hello de Castro. My father's a Spanish grandee. But I won my wife in a card game to hell 
with those lords o'er the sea. I sat in a game at Halone. I played with a man there named Juan. After I'd won all his money, he bet me his young daughter Dawn. I picked up the ace, I had won her. My heart, which was down at my feet, jumped up to my throat in a hurry. Like a young summer's day, she was sweet. He opened the door to the kitchen. He called her name with a curse. He said, take her, oh, take her, you've won her. She's yours now for better or worse. Oh, the South Coast is a wild coast. And might win in a game at alone, but the lion still rules the barrancas, and a man there is always alone. Her arms had to tighten around me. We rode up the coast from the south. Not a word did I hear from her that day, nor a kiss from her pretty red mouth. We came to our cabin at twilight. The stars twinkled out on the coast. She soon loved the valley, the orchards, but I knew she loved me the most. That was a gay, happy winter. I carved on a cradle of pine by a fire in that neat little shanty. I sang with that gay wife of mine. I got hurt in a landslide with crushed hip and twice broken bone. She saddled our pony like lightning, rode off in the night for alone. A lion screamed in the barrancas, but bolted and fell on. Slide. My young wife lay dead in the moonlight. My heart died that night with my bride. Oh, the South Coast is a wild. win in a game at alone but the lion still rules the barrancas and a man there is always alone that song. Oh, Dick Barker. We had lunch together and talked about trading songs like we used to do back in the 50s. And first met, I'd sing some songs from the East, and Dick would sing me songs from out here, trade them around. 
They go all over the place. All right. Hey, next up, we've got uh, people from the East that uh, used to sing songs with this gal back there many years. It's over 50 years. Oh, oh God. Here is Adrian Ward and Peter Ward. left over from last week, uh, <laughs> but, but Peter wasn't here, so I didn't sing it. Work in the cotton mill all of my life, never had nothing but a barlow knife. Hard times, cotton mill girls, hard times everywhere. Oh, it's a hard
Just anything but temptation. That's <laughs> uh, Adrian and Peter Ward. Okay, uh, next up we've got oh this this guy. He plays cowboy and western type songs. He does it really well. Wonderful guitar player. Wonderful voice. Greg Keckler. <laughs> Anyway, I don't need that. <laughs> I can read. I was lying. I like, I like songs that tell a story, and I, I like the story that this song tells. This is all about uh, a guy by the name of Harold Wilson. Harold Wilson is my name, son. Why don't you sit a spell? I live right here on the Ferguson Road at the Paradise Motel. And though you do not know me, there's a story I like to tell. It's a story that I'm sure you know well. It's a story that I'm sure you know well. Well, I had me a place on Thunder Ridge in a doomsday shack. My wife had left and took the kids a couple of years back. And I spent most of my mornings thinking about that and my afternoons trying to figure out what to plant. I spent my afternoons trying to figure out what to plant. Did you ever try to farm a farm with a pick and a shovel? Try to put a field into corn, just wouldn't grow nothing. Staring down across the town, you wonder why you even bother. When up the road there's a vacant room, climate control and color, and you can stay there by the month for a hundred dollars. And you can stay there by the month for a hundred dollars. Well, there wasn't money in corn, and there wasn't money in beans. They took my telephone, shut off my electricity. 
Then a letter come in the mail saying there's taxes owed by me. If I was ever going to pay, well, I had three weeks. If I was ever going to pay, well, I had three weeks. Did you ever try to farm a farm with a pick and a shovel? Try to put a field into corn, just wouldn't grow nothing. Staring down across the town, you wonder why you even bother. When up the road there's a vacant room, climate control and color, and you can stay there by the month for a hundred dollars. And you can stay there by the month for a hundred dollars. Well, they sold that farm to some fool, ten cents on the dollar. I saw him out there last week, I was on the way to visit my daughter. And that son of a gun was out there trying to hook a windmill up to water. When he heard me laugh, well, he turned and I swear he hollered. When he heard me laugh, well, he turned and I swear he hollered. Did you ever try to farm a farm with a pick and a shovel? Try to put a field into corn, just wouldn't grow nothing. Staring down across the town, you wonder why you even bother. When up the road there's a vacant room, climate control and color. And you can stay there by the month for a hundred dollars. And you can stay there by the month for a hundred dollars. Now the government checks come down the pikes, regulars rain. And I sit outside most nights, except when the June bugs drive me in. Harold Wilson is my name, son. Why don't you sit a spell? I live right here on the Ferguson Road at the Paradise Motel. Here's one I'm sure you've all heard before someplace. It's old and it's been around a long time. If you're traveling in the North Country Fair Where the winds hit heavy on the border Remember me to one who lives there For she once was a true love of mine If you go when the snowflakes storm When the river
So if you're traveling in the North Country Fair Where the winds hit heavy on the borderline Remember me to the one who lives there was a true love of mine Thank you very much. Thank you. Greg Keckler. That's the the third area of his expertise. I always think of his cowboy songs and his finger-picking blues, but sometimes forget that he's got this whole area of folk songs that he also either finger-picks or flat-picks. Last song by Bob Dylan. There was so much noise made about Bob Dylan when he first appeared uh, as a protest singer and songwriter. Um, you can probably number his early to mid-60s pro protest songs on the fingers of your hand. But, you know, if you think about uh, Dylan's songwriting over the years, the greatest consistency, I think, from the beginning right up to the present is in his love songs. All along, he's been a great love songwriter. And uh, they're pretty melodies and pretty songs like that one. That was always one of my early favorites. We have a, a feature tonight who also has a great ear for pretty songs. And he makes them sound even better in some cases than they have been in the original. Um, if you had attended the Hoot regularly in its first year up at Dornan's, you would have seen him every week, uh, pretty much, until he moved to Colorado and stayed down there for about eight years. Uh, and only once in a great while came up and favored us with a few songs, so he's now back in the area, and as uh, who introduced at the very beginning, uh, Hank said, uh, he's over in Idaho, and uh, his job takes him all over the state, and when he's in eastern Idaho, he's only just over the pass, so we hope to see him from time to time, and uh, we're happy to have him here tonight. Please make very welcome for his 82nd Hootenanny, Eric Stone.
tuner up with me because uh, these are new strings, so I know they're going to go out of tune at uh, exactly the wrong intervals. And I brought my cheat sheet too, just to keep me on task here. Oh, let's try this one. There's a wonderful folk singer from the state of Maine named Katie Curtis, who uh, wrote a song about her father, who uh, is exactly like my father was, in that he was a pack rat. He used to keep everything. And if you drive through certain parts of the state of Maine, you'll see uh, rusted cars and all kinds of various, we don't, we don't call them uh, abandoned cars, cars, we call them yard art in the state of Maine. So. It's got no chair, it's got no seat, cracks no shoes. Warped wooden skis, hardcover books, pages all turn brown. My dad has a reason for all the things he keeps around. And if he needs something, when times get hard, you can probably find it in my dad's yard. And if you need hope, if you're coming apart, you can probably find it in my dad's heart. You never really know what might be in store if you look in the boxes in the barn on the second floor. Underneath the papers, crumbled up in balls. You might find a gem, or you might find nothing at all. And that's the fun of it, it's that mystery. All these things bearing other people's histories. You can look at this stuff and wonder where it's been. You can pick it up and you can use it again. And if you need something, when times get hard, you can probably find it in my dad's yard. If you need hope, if you're coming apart, you can probably find it in my dad's yard. You can see potential Most of us are blind You can see the gleam beneath the rust and the grind You'll polish the gray Until it shines clear blue if you know my dad, well, he won't give up on you. And if you need something, when times get hard, you can probably find it in my dad's yard. If you need love, because you're coming apart, you can probably find it in my dad's Heart. We uh, we did just recently move uh, over to Haley, Idaho. Um, where uh, for many years I've been flirting with uh, an organization called the Nature Conservancy. And finally that flirt became a little bit more serious courtship. And uh, 
we uh, we're, we have the good fortune to have found a place to rent uh, where we get to reap the harvest that somebody else uh, sowed, and um, you could call it you could call it light farming. We call it heavy gardening. Um, that's what my old friend Utah Phillips used to say about his place over in Spokane. Um, and, and he reminded me, see, it was too expensive to move all our firewood over there at Haley. And uh, the zucchinis are just having this bumper crop. I don't know about here in the valley, but over there, they're just amazing. So what we've been doing is just splitting the zucchinis in half and laying them out in the sun and letting them dry and putting up a couple of cords of zucchini this year. So just, you know, I can't grow anything, but I can grow zucchinis. Crazy. And uh, my kids are thinking about, we're, we're looking at another little small, actually a little bit larger farm where we can have some animals. My, chick, my uh, kids want to have chickens, so uh, they wanted to make sure that I played this song for you. Some of you have heard it over the years. <clears throat> Adrian, uh, don't spoil it for the rest of them now. You know, you know how it goes. <laughs> this is the rooster song. We had a chicken, no eggs would she lay. We had a chicken, no eggs would she lay. My wife said, honey, we're losing money. chicken no eggs would she lay but then that rooster come in our yard this is the part my kids still haven't figured out yet caught that chicken right off her guard happens at night when they're in the coop, you know. Well, she's laying eggs now, just like she used to, ever since that rooster come in our yard. She's laying eggs now, just like she used to, ever since that rooster come in our yard. We had a milk cow, no milk would she give. No milk would she give. Don't worry, this is a family show. I see there's some concerned looks on some of this. My wife said, honey, we're losing money. We had a milk cow. No milk would she give. My kids hadn't figured this one out yet. <laughs> and caught that milk cow. Wow. Wow. Right off her guard. She's giving eggnog just like she used to. Ever since that rooster come in her yard. She's giving eggnog just like she used to. Ever since that rooster come in our yard, we had a gum tree. No gum would it give, drop, provide, whatever. We had a gum tree. No gum would it bear. My wife said, honey. effort and talent to sing out a key. You know? <laughs> we had a gum tree, no gum would it give, you guessed it, and that rooster come in our yard and caught
caught that gum tree right off its guard. It's dropping chiclets just like it used to ever since that rooster come in our yard. It's dropping chiclets just like it used to ever since that rooster come in our yard. Thank you. Well, of course, it's been a very emotional day for a lot of folks, and uh, enough's been, been said. Uh, no matter how uh, affected you were or how cynical some of us have become over the past five years, there's uh, still a lot of heavy thinking to be done. And I'll just uh, do this song with that in mind. <clears throat> As I walk by the dark side one evening so rare To view the still waters and taste the salt air I heard an old fisherman singing his song Won't you take me away, boys, me time is not long Dress me up in me oilskins and blankets No more on the docks I'll be seen And tell me, old shipmates, I am taking a trip, mates And I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green Now Fiddler's Green is a place I've heard tell Where fishermen go if they don't go to hell All the weather is fair And the dolphins do play And the cold coast of Greenland Is far, far away Dress me up in me oilskins and blankets No more on the docks I'll be seen And tell me, old shipmates I am taking a trip, mates And I'll see you someday In Fiddler's Green No, I don't want a harp or a halo not me. Just give me a breeze and a good roaring sea. And I'll play me old get box as we sail along with the wind and the rigging just singing a song. Dress me up in me oilskins and blankets. No more on the docks I'll be seen. And tell me old shipmates I am taking a trip mates. And I'll see you someday in Fiddler's Green. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, John, you ready? One of the wonderful things I've enjoyed about the Hootenannies over the years is getting to play with some amazing musicians. Music is... Uh, is a gift both given and received, and uh, it's a lot of the reason why we're all here, because we just keep giving back to each other and receiving from each other and getting to play with fine folks like John and some others in a few minutes. It's just one of the, one of the real golden moments for me about coming to, back to the Hootenanny over all these years. So, well said. With that in mind, forgot the words now. <laughs> I'll just try that over again. I seen the bright lights of Memphis and the Comico Hotel. And underneath the street lamp, I met a southern belle. She took me to the river. It was there she cast her spell. And in that southern moonlight, she sang a song so well. Well, if you chicken I'll be your Tennessee lamb and we can walk together down in Dixie land down in Dixie land with the well we hit all the hot spots my money flowed like wine and that low down southern wind 
whiskey It began to fog my mind and I don't remember church bells Or the house on the edge of town The nights we spent together All the money I put down But boy do I remember The strain of her refrain The white picket fence and the boardwalk And the way she used to call my name Well, if you'll be my Dixie chicken, I'll be your Tennessee lamb, and we can walk together down in Dixie land, down in Dixie land, baby. Since she ran away Guess that guitar player She could play He's always handy with a song Guess she liked to sing along Cause later on In the lobby Of a Commodore Hotel A chance to meet A bartender Who said he knew her well Then as he handed Me a drink He began to hum a song Well then All the boys down at the bar, they began to hum along. Well, if you be my Dixie chicken, I'll be your Tennessee lamb. We can walk together down in Dixie land, down in Dixie land, down in Dixie land. He'll be up right after our break. I think he's the next one on the list. Here's a song I've heard uh, Greg Keckler do. In a slightly different version, I learned it. Uh, I learned it from uh, David Bromberg in a different. cheery song about domestic violence, you know. It's a... Bad 
if the poor girl died at home she's all I got is gone looking high Curtis looking low He shot poor Delia down with a cold black 44 She's all I got is gone The judge he said to Curtis He said son what's all this noise about It's all about them rounders trying to cut me out. She's all I got is Curtis says to the judge, he asks Mr. Judge, what will be my fine? The judge said, poor boy, you get 99. All I got is gone You talk about your taxi Your rubber tired hat I took Delia to the graveyard boys But they did not bring her back She's all I got is gone Curtis is in the jailhouse He's drinking from an old tin cup Delia's in the graveyard lying And she won't not never get up She's all I got is gone As Bromberg says, uh, this is the verse that really makes it for him You figure out that this song is written by the guy who did the crime must be written by Curtis because he sings Delia, Delia How could it be You love those rounders You never really did love me She's all I got is gone I said Delia, Delia How could it be Love those rounders Never really did love me She's all I got is gone I'm gonna borrow Miss Ann Sibley, seen as her as her husband's in Vermont. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite places. And Hank Phipps, you around? Let me get back in tune, tune here. Can you believe that Ann can sing that well with the allergies that she's got? I think she was putting us on. <laughs> <laughs> It was the rhythm set. Oh, I got important work to do. I was hoping you'd get that idea.
Pete and Ann are pretty involved in the uh, sustainability project, Teton Sustainability Project. If you haven't heard about that, you ought to ask them. It's a pretty neat organization. There we go. All right, now that I did that, we're going to do it in A, aren't we? Yes, thank you. <laughs> so that Anne's voice doesn't sound like mine. <laughs> it's still low, but... There's one string there that's offensive. No, it's all right. Oh, my ears are going to go. Hank, why don't you go get in the middle? No, that's people get ready, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> How's it start? <laughs> Wasps in the kitchen. <laughs> I can hear them out there buzzing. But he ain't done nothing since I woke up today. How the hell can a person go to work in the morning, come home in the evening, and have nothing to say? Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. Just a hard way to go. It's probably an endangered species that I need to be careful of. 
<laughs> I don't know where he went. All right. I'll leave you with this little ditty. In the early morning rain With a dollar in my hand And an ache in my heart And my pockets full of sand I'm a long way from home And I miss my loved ones so In the early morning rain With no place to go Out on runway number nine Big 707 set to go I'm stuck here on the ground Where the chilly winds are blowing tasting good and we went all the fast there she goes again my friend but well, she's rolling out got me down It's no earthly good to me Cause I'm stuck here on the ground Cold and drunk as I might be You can't jump a jet plane Like you can a freight train So I'd best be on my way In the early morning rains My favorite light foot line in all of his songs you can jump a jet plane like you can a freight train so I'd best be on my way in the early morning rain in the early morning rain in the early Thanks. It was great to see you again. down here we got uh, Beethoven's ninth no, I can't do that. better not do that one um. don't do one do four or five <laughs> <laughs> all right this is uh, a children's story I used to read to my kids they've, they've since grown out of it to help them get to sleep at night uh, children's story was written by Reeve Lindbergh daughter of Charles Lindbergh and Ann Morrow, and, uh, and I put some tunes to it, and uh, she liked it well enough when I sent her a tape, so we kept doing it. She didn't even charge me for the lyrics. She's a wonderful lady, also lives in South Royalton, Vermont, I think, somewhere, Char Charlotte.
Vermont. It sounds better when it's in tune, though. Sorry, this is just new strings and tough to get these guys in. Early morning rain just took it out of them. Just singing it made them rust. My God! They're psychic strings. There we go. Here's the dark when day is done. Dark with no moon or sun. Here's the dark when the lights go out. Here's the heart of the dark. And here's the dark of the chair in the hall where one old dog curls up in a ball, breathing each breath with the rise and a fall. Dark of the chair in the hall. And here's the dark by the big wood stove where two white cats play with a leftover glove. And a birthday card that was signed with love. Dark by the big wood stove. Here is the dark of the maple tree. Where a raccoon family, one, two, three, is building a home in a place that is free, in the dark of the maple tree. And here's the dark of the barnyard gate, where four farm geese are staying up late. They know wild geese will come if they wait. Dark at the barnyard gate. And here's the dark at the stable door, where five horses stamp their hooves on the floor and blow through their noses and stamp some more. Dark at the stable door. Where six cows stand all black and white Their heads are low and their eyes are bright In the dark of the barn at night and Here's the dark in back of the barn Where seven fat sheep are keeping warm On hay from the meadow Surrounding the farm, dark in back of the barn. And here's the dark of the chickens' rest, where eight little chicks have feathery breasts and ruffled up shoulders and heads on their chests. The dark of the chickens' rest. Here's the dark of the orchard pond Where nine deer gather from all around Drink at night without any sound the dark of the orchard pond Here's the dark of the old stone wall Where ten small field mice scamper and call seeds and the berries that fall in the dark of the old stone wall. And here's the dark of the midnight farm, deep in the dark and free from harm, deep in the dark and safe and warm. Dark of the midnight fire, the dark 
at midnight far The dark of the midnight far Thank you. Stone, we were going to give you a short break, but don't go away. We have other people here, John Kozlowski, Hank Fibbs and John Carney, Sally, Jenny and Sherry, the duo Tomingus. This is going to be a surprise. And Mark Memmer. Um, we have a feature next week, the fabulous Carney brothers. Yeah. Uh, other features, we're looking forward to October 9th, Buffalo Grass with special guest, a friend of Jack Salise from Tennessee who has not been here before, but reportedly a snazzy guitar picker. And uh, we're going to run right through October. The last Monday in October is the 30th, the day before Halloween. We will take five, only five Mondays off this fall and come back December 11th, and on that night we'll have a feature from Jim Charlier from Boulder, Colorado. So keep an eye on the paper, and we'll keep announcing these things here. Um, but uh, have a little break, and uh, come back, and we have more musicians who have not yet played. This is a... Uh a song I know from Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. They're really, really a great uh, acoustic blues duo. They're not around anymore, but really good. <laughs> Boss man was so mean, he worked me like a slave. Eighteen long hours of driving in body to the grave. That's why I'm walking. Walking my blues away. You know the sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. Well, I used to have a car painted white and black. I couldn't make the payments, the man had come and took it back, that's why I'm walking. <laughs> walking my blues away. <laughs> you know the sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. <laughs> I used to be your sweet milk, but you soured on me now. We can't be together like we used to be, so I'm walking. Yeah, walking my blues away. I know the sun's gonna shine. People in my back door someday. coffee but we was in my meal you know the tax in my heels keep sticking me in that heel that's why I'm walking keep walking my blues away I know the sun's gonna shine people in my back door someday there's just one thing people it really give me the blues when I gotta buy a new pair of shoes here in Jackson Hole and I forgot how that one rhymed out. So I'm walking all the way to Idaho Falls. Yeah, I know the sun's gonna shine people in my back door someday. Thank <laughs> you. 
the news, boy, holler extra. Have you heard the news? Oh, the woman he loves is gone, and he's got the walking blues. That's why he's walking. Oh, walking down blues every week. You know the sun gonna shine, people in my back door someday. You know the sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. You know the sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. Thank you. This is a this is a quicker one. This is a quick uh, Steve Goodman one. thinking hard. I said, I said, I said, I said, I don't know, baby, because I ain't never heard you play the blues. Thank you. going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> Music or words, I don't know. All right, hey, next up we've got um, oh, these two guys, I don't know, they're, they're trying to uh, combine music and politics. I don't know how you do that. Here they are. Here's Hank Fibs and John Carney. Yeah, I don't know about that politics part, right, Hank? When I was a uh, when I was a county commissioner, which was kind of a brief period of my life, um, I actually Andy Schwartz is one of the other county commissioners who's still doing a great job for the community, and Andy is a, an old rock and roll singer, and. Uh, Andy and I threatened while we were both commissioners, and both Democrats too, which is interesting, um, but uh, we wanted to have a band and call it the Blind Commissioners, which was a, 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 a nod to Bob Dylan, who put that in his song Desolation Row about the blind commissioners. I, you know. Anyway, uh, I thought that was clever, but now, Hank, you could still do that if you get elected. You and Andy could be the band. I'm going to have to leave that one behind. A saxophone and a dobro. Yeah. Well, and yeah, right. That, that's a good combination. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Mark Memmer. The courtesy of Mark, I have a guitar tonight. I couldn't quite get home between work and, and the Hootenanny, so thank you, Mark. Mark is coming up uh, in a couple of, of uh, fairly soon. Um, and what was that? Don't get it out of tune. Oh, I'll try not to. I'm, I'm playing it capoed up, though, but, you know. I'll try to tune it up for you if I if I get too wild up here with Hank. Okay, so so we're gonna do this song. Uh, uh, seeing Eric uh, tonight was so great, and it just reminded me of how many wonderful musicians have been in this place. And one of them, who's no longer here, is Tom Rush. And this is a song that I learned from Tom, 
Um, who learned uh, it from Chuck Pyle? Who learned it from Chuck Pyle? Who and he didn't. No, actually, somebody else wrote it. A guy named Stevens wrote it. But um, it's a it's a it's a song that's quite appropriate for those of us who'd entered advanced years. And uh, <clears throat> it's called the Remember Song, and it goes like this. So we'll see if I can remember it. This is dedicated to all of you who feel like you're losing brain cells. Looking for my wallet and my car keys. Well, they can't have gone too far. As soon as I find my glasses, I'm sure I'll see just where they are. Supposed to meet someone for lunch today. But I can't remember where or who it is I am meeting. It's in my organizer somewhere. I think I left it on the counter. Maybe outside in the car. Well now, last time I remember driving was to that memory enhancement seminar. What's that far off distant ringing? In a vaguely familiar tone must be the person I am meeting. Calling on my brand new cordless telephone. I think I left it under the covers. Or maybe outside on the lawn. Now I've just got one more ring to go. Before my answering machine turns on. Hi, this is John. And your call means a lot to me. So please leave a message after the beep. And I will try to remember to call you back when I get home. Beep. John, this is Carol. And I'm trying not to cry. I've been waiting here for over an hour now. I thought you'd love me. This is goodbye. Well, the voice, it sounds familiar. And the name, it rings a bell. Well, now, let's see. Where was I? Looking for my wallet and my car keys. Well, they can't have gone too far. As soon as I find my glasses, I'm sure I'll know just where they are. Thank you. I don't know if any of you know that uh, um, Hank Williams actually played, I mean Hank Williams, uh, we're going to do, we're not doing a Hank Williams song, we're doing a uh, Willie Nelson song. Willie Nelson, whoa! <laughs> Hank, Hank just told me that he's cracked his glasses and now you just did it again, Hank. These are good looking glasses. That looks good. Wait, what happened? No, that's, it just came off the... We have to raise it, but that's what I was trying oh, to do. Okay. Obviously, I'm not good at doing this. All right, while Hank is doing that, I'll divert the audience by telling them the story I that I started. It a, uh, <laughs> you know, make that thing go up. Where, where are the technicians? Right. Where are the roadies? Well, speaking of roadies, we had, we had uh, Willie Nelson was in town last week, and he did a, uh, I got your glasses here, Hank, whenever you need them again. I'm, I'm getting my fingerprints all over them. Um, 
Make it easy to read the words. Uh, Willie, Willie did a, a fundraiser concert last week, and uh, uh, it was one of these, you know, thousand dollar a plate events. So uh, I assume most of you weren't there, but uh, anyway, it was somehow I got in without paying anything, and uh, uh, it was quite a fun concert. And uh, so Hank uh, is going to sing who wasn't this. There. Yeah, <laughs> Hank, who was not there, uh, was so inspired he wants to sing this song. All right, Hank. Now this is. I gotta sit because I got no strap here. Okay. And you're gonna start us out. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. That life I love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. On the road again Going places that I've never been Seeing things that I may never see again And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Like a band of gypsies we go down the highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world be turning our way our way, way is on the road again just can't wait to get on the road again the life I love is making music with my friends and I can't wait to get, get on, on the road, road again, again. Gypsies, we go down the highway. We're the best of friends, insisting that the world be turning our way. And our way is on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Again. Thank, Thank you. you. John Carney and Hank. John's going to be up here with his brother next week. For they're a humorous twosome. In fact, it just never stops. Anyway, the um, John and Pete's Carney next week. All right, hey, next up, we've got three gals. We don't often have three gals singing up here. They do a really good job, and they're back again for us. Here's Sally, Jenny, and Sherry. Um, kind of in memory of the 9-11 uh, disaster in New York City and kind of a, a song of hope for peace in the future written by Steve Earle.
Jenny Sherman on the egg. The cable crop is here. And Hank this. <laughs> and I'm going to move my capo now. Yes. And uh, this is another Steve Earle song uh, called I Still Carry You Around. Steve's our theme for the He's night. He's our theme for the <laughs> night. James will be jealous. <laughs> harmonies. Um, Sally, Jenny, and Sherry, I don't know which way that goes. Your guess is as good as mine. <clears throat> All right, next up. Next up we've got, gee, this guy who usually plays a ukulele, and, um, but he's a really good guitar player, so he's brought his guitar tonight and his daughter. 
Here's Byron Tomingus and his daughter Purcell. say what it is. <laughs> right now? <laughs> yeah, right now. Okay, uh, we only have one number tonight, and um, it's going to be a little bit of a fast song, so I hope you enjoy it, and it's called Noisy. Terra Nova. <laughs> Terra Nova. All right. Okay. Can't you play more? <laughs> Good stuff from Tomingus Duo here. All right. Hey, next up, last one for the for the newcomers tonight, or the first timers. Here he is, a wonderful guitar player. He's got a style all his own. Please welcome Mark Memmer. so fast, but a month ago, something like that, there was a, a bluegrass band here, S Slipstream, is that what it was? And they, uh, they played a Norman Blake song, Slow Train Through Georgia, and reminded me that I always, was always going to work that song up and do it, so here we go.
40 miles an hour She's rolling down the line In greasy rail Red clay trail Through the long leaf pine In any place That the sunshine falls Is where I, I long to be Well, sunshine, southern special Let me roll me to the sea with hardship and trouble Lord, you know I've had some I'm getting older Every day I'm a fair weather bum Let me tell you Good people here It's just about time A letter, slow train through Georgia He's my worried man I'm sure there's lots of people in this room that are familiar with the uh, uh, Calf Creek area in southern Utah. It's, it's right between Escalante and Boulder. There's a little campground there. And about 10 years ago, after a long, long ramble through the, the wilds of southern Utah on a Volkswagen bus with my family, we uh, sort of holed up in the campground for a day. It was nice to be someplace where there's actually shade. And I sat down in the shade. It was about 92 in the shade. And my two children were playing in Calf Creek, pulling up weeds and, and waiting. And I made the song up, and I call it Cash Creek. Or Calf Creek, excuse me.
Thank you, Mark. Uh, nice song. We've got, that finishes our full round. We've got some performers here, each of whom I think are still going to do uh, a song to wrap up the evening. And we are going to begin with Bill Briggs. Please join me in making him welcome. looking for pieces of wisdom from the folk music or any music. Uh, I always thought one piece of wisdom was pretty good was whatever you keep your attention on is what you'll get. My life flows on in endless song Above earth's lamentation, I hear the real, though far off him, that hails the new creation. Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear that music ringing. It sounds an echo in my soul. How can I keep from singing? What though the tempest round me close, I hear the truth it ringeth. What though the darkness round me close, songs in the night it giveth. No song, no storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging. No flood is fall of heaven and earth. How can I keep from singing? How can I keep from singing? First, I'm going to introduce Dick Parker. <laughs> but before I do, I got to say that my, my kids are going to have a ski coach who's an Austrian and does yodeling while he wind sprints. 
Unreal. Thank you, Bill. The next musician coming up is a bard in the uh, best sense of the word. A bard in the old English tradition is a teacher, someone who uses song and music to tell stories. That's Dick Barker. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Barbara and I took our horses over to Du Bois over the weekend and went riding. And <clears throat> I actually got to see a part of the country that in all these years I've never been over Union Pass. But we went up there and went riding up there, and it's a beautiful country. While we were over there, though, I saw an interesting bumper sticker on the vehicle. Um, Montana license plate, <clears throat> and it said, um, help save Montana, shoot a land developer. Well, this song, I did this a couple of months ago. And it's about a man who had been a park service ranger and author and a conservation activist. I met him once at a Western River Guides Association meeting. This is the ballad of Edward Abbey. Twas in the town of Tucson in 1983. A man named Edward Abbey come walking up to me. He pulled his seagull from his mouth, said, I smell lawyers here. Those politician running dogs, they crawled away in fear. Sing a do right, sing a do right day. Ed walked across the desert at least a thousand times. He talked with Havelina and he slept neath pinion pines. And if he saw a billboard there, he'd chop that bastard down. Said if a man can't live and can't, <laughs> said if a man can't piss in his own front yard, he's a living too close to town. Sing a do right do, sing a do right day. Ed died one day at sundown at his Tucson riding shack. They wrapped him in a sleeping bag and they drove him way out back beneath an old saguaro. The coyotes chew its bones, and on the hidden marker is no comment carved in stone. Sing a do right, sing a do right day. Tell me who votes for the mountain lion. Tell me who votes for the fox. And who votes for the spotted owl that hides among the rocks? I wish that Ed would come again with a monkey wrench in his hand and help to save Anwar from those greedy oil men. Sing a do right, do. sing a do right.
Oh, it's Dick Barker. I, we didn't hear enough of that guitar playing of, of Byron Tamingus. So we're going to get him back up to finish off the evening for us. Here is Byron Tamingus. Something noisy. I like playing noisy stuff. <laughs> What is the story? You find the string that's out and you tune the rest of it to that. Is that how that works? Somebody told me that once. Oh well. It's 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 it's, it's that, yeah, that's close. <laughs> close enough for jazz, right? Wire <laughs> covers. Um let's play something funny. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, he's homegrown native here in Jackson. He's, he used to teach guitar, no wonder. All right, that's our program for tonight. Thank you for coming.